Good morning and good night. Welcome back to another educational video with your boy Trevin, aka the best CM at Flippin' Rabbits. So today's video is going to be super easy and super fun. How to set up a phantom wallet and where to go. So the first thing you want to do is go to phantom.app. This is where you're able to see the physical app. What we'll be doing is we'll be creating a full on new wallet on Solana with phantom. So you're able to actually store your NFTs, actually stake your NFTs or Solana and transfer and swap all in one place. As I stated before, if you do have a ledger, which I do recommend, click up above so you're able to watch that video. So Phantom is able to work with Chrome, Brave Browser, which I do recommend, Firefox, and Edge. Today's video will be using Chrome. So all you have to do is on whatever browser you have, just hit Chrome. So this will be Chrome. It'll bring you to this page and you just have to hit add and it'll show up in the top right corner. Okay, so that was the hardest part. The next thing is creating your wallet. This will take about 30 to 45 seconds. Super, super simple. Okay, so what you'll be doing is you'll be hitting create a new wallet. You're obviously going to put in a password, so let me put in a password and then go from there. Okay, you're just going to hit agree terms of service. Okay, so this is the hardest part of the entire wallet. You write down 12 words, which is your seed phrase or your secret seed phrase just in case you do lose your password or you want to transfer it to another device. Next thing is you just hit save my secret seed phrase. And just like that, you are done setting up your Solana wallet. You're actually able to go in the top right and click on it. So right here, we have our Solana wallet. Uh, this is the address that you're able to copy and paste to send Sol or send NFTs. Your NFTs are going to be down here in this little square box. Obviously, I don't have anything in here since this is a brand new wallet. It'll also show your recent transactions here. And then if you do want to swap, it'll be the middle button right here. Last but not least, if you do forget your secret phrase, but you do remember your password, you're always able to hit show secret recovery phrase. I personally don't do this. A good rule of thumb is to create a new wallet every single month. This is a way so you're not able to get hacked. But like I did say before, getting the ledger and adding that to your phantom wallet will be 10 times more secure. So go check out that video above. So one last thing I just want to say, you have to do the same process on the mobile app, either if it's iOS or Android, but it's very simple. It'll take as long as two to three minutes at max. The longest part is actually writing down the 12 word or seed phrase just so your wallet is safe. So I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a thumbs up, a like, and a comment. I love everyone that's coming together with the Flippin' Rabbit community, and I'll catch you on the Flippity Flip.